I'm Elliot Seinel. I'm an attorney. I've been practicing for 30 years. I uh, have a personal injury practice uh, with my wife in New York City. Met Charles about 10 years ago. Charles helped me find my dream home. So we became empty nesters. I told Charles that we wanted to find a place on the west side of Manhattan because the practice is on 31st and 7th Avenue. We wanted an easy commute. We wanted proximity to parks, to bike paths. I called Charles and I told him I was ready to do it. We spent a couple of afternoons and we just found the spot that I'm happy to call home right now. You know, after 20 years of doing the Long Island Railroad commute, realizing I wanted back those couple of hours a day, um, to tell you the truth, I'm born and raised in Brooklyn. It was always a dream to raise a family in the suburbs. Had the big backyard. Charles even made it to one of my, uh, maybe my 50th birthday party <laughs> out on the deck. Barbecues are nice, the tennis courts and beaches are nice. Uh, we loved it all, honestly. Really got a lot of use out of Long Island. We still go back regularly, but living in the city, as you can imagine, it's not difficult to come up with things to do. Our biggest decision sometimes on a Saturday is whether they go to Riverside Park or Central Park. We have an ongoing joke of what train are you making, knowing we have a cut down hour, hour and 15 minute commute to about you know, 15, 20 minutes and we're in the office. So find yourself getting home a lot earlier with a lot more to do in the evenings. Regarding the transition, I have to tell you what you quickly find, you don't miss using your car. I remember after a month here, you know, turning to my wife and saying, wow, I can't believe we haven't been in the car in a month. Really nice knowing people are not gonna be stacking chairs when you get to a restaurant at 10 o'clock at night and never having to, you know, look at a train schedule. It's, I wouldn't recommend it to people that are still, you know, raising the family or pulling kids out of schools or they love their high school or their school district or things like that. I'd recommend it to everybody that likes the energy of the city. Living in the city is an exciting thing for the kids because now they're already telling us people want to come stay over and you know we're fortunate to have a three bedroom so you know one of the kids may or may not be moving back in they go out with their friends when they come in on school breaks everybody always wants to sleep over and go see you know one of your daughters in the city and when you're inviting people or you're doing things on weekends or weeknights everybody seems to want to come visit you just like when we were in Long Island it was like let's go out in the city it's something exciting to do we find ourselves hosting a lot and that's really nice that people want to come here we were excited to get get something that needed some work. Uh, wanted turnkey on the Upper West Side. It was so cost prohibitive that you can very quickly rationalize and convince yourself, I think we're gonna have to do things at our own pace and do our own work and go into something that maybe isn't in tip top shape. You know, my wife and I have done some projects like that before and frankly, we enjoy the shopping, you know, going around and looking at things. Just decided that, you know, I just turned 52 years old. We decided well, we're probably gonna be here for a really long time, if not the rest of our lives. If we do it right with, you know, an architect and a decorator, push ourselves out of our comfort zone so we don't end up with our kitchen and den looking the same as it did in our Long Island home. We, we decided we wanted to have fun with the project and there was a lot of work. There was uh, afternoons of leaving the office and going to look at granite in Brooklyn or New Jersey or going to a designer building you know that you can't get into without your decorator. It was a fun project and so I would suggest it to people that have a willing partner and people that enjoy the shopping um, you know which I do. I would strongly suggest to anybody taking this route that if they're going to use a designer or a contractor that you insist on seeing some of the work they've done. A lot of what I see in my apartment and new home now are ideas that I got from other things that the decorator and the contractor took me around to show off in essence some of their work before they were given the job. From molding to textured wallpaper to flooring to lighting to sound systems, things of that nature, you really want to get that inspiration from looking around and I really don't think you could just do it by looking at magazines. The overall experience of moving into the city has you know, been no less than exhilarating. You know, you, you feel like you have more time, you're excited about the newness of all of it, the cultural stuff goes without saying, and then when you come into your home and you feel like you did that the right way, size-wise, location-wise, quality, when you look at the real estate market going up in value, Charles knows I always have my eyes on upgrading as much as it drives my wife crazy. I'm always keeping my eye out on something, you know, bigger and better. Not, I'll never say never, but right now the space seems adequate. You know, Charles was a very important inspiration to making this whole move for us. We're very, very pleased.